I'm a proud member of the Guild. So when did you first hear about the Writers Guild, do you recall? When I sold my first script and said, you got to be in a union, sonny boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it was that catch-22. You can't be in the Writers Guild until you sell a script, and you can't sell a script if you're not in the Writers Guild. But thanks to Tom Patchett and Jay Tarsus, again, and Bernie Brillstein, who became my manager, I sold this script, and the Writers Guild said, you have to join, and I said, wow, that's what I want to join. And that's the first I heard of them, and I, I always liked it. I didn't come around too much as a member, but I always tried to uh, be involved. I, and I always uh, made sure if they wanted me to put some money in uh, their fund for out-of-work writers or something, I was always very happy to do that. The only thing that worried me about the Writers Guild is as a working writer, I used to hate to go to meetings when we were talking about going on strike. Because I'd see a lot of writers coming in with Century 21 real estate jackets on and knew that they didn't care if we went on strike or not. In fact, for an out-of-work writer, a strike's a cool thing because you can go pick it at 20th Century and maybe meet a showrunner. You can network. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, I thought we were a little uh, quick on the triggers for strikes, you know, but looking back, looking back, they were right and I was wrong and we should have fought even harder because the people we're fighting against, they, they, they've got their hand around the money and the control and they really don't want to share. Mm -hmm. so, so thank God for the Writers Guild.